Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on our FTP downloader. Now FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol if you didn't already know that. Um, so here is my project directory for uh, the FTP downloader. It's in Documents, Visual Studio 2010, Projects, and then FTP Downloader YouTube. Now you will have all of these files here except for FTP client vb.dll. Now I haven't talked to Bucky yet, but I'm going to see if he will put this DLL file in the download. Now this is a class library that has a bunch of stuff that we can use um, with FTP. Now this was created by a guy named Howard, Rich Howard Richards. Um, he is a programmer uh, for the he posts at the code project a lot. Um, now I'm not advertising for the code project. I don't I don't actually use it myself, but I just want to give full credit to Howard Richard for creating this class library that we can use. So we'll go ahead and minimize out of that. Now here is FTP client VB. Now at the moment we can't do anything with this DLL file. So what we can do is open up a program called IL Spy. Now what IL Spy does is it lets us decompile .NET programs and class libraries. Now, I'm not going to give you guys a download link for this one. You can search for it on Google yourself. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go File, Open, and let's just go ahead and go to Documents, Visual Studio 2010, Projects, and we'll do FTP Downloader YouTube. And here's FTP client vb.dll. And you can see we can open this. And it opens up this um, right here in our um, menu. And it's our class library. So you can see it has references, which we don't need to look at. It has resources, which we don't need to look at. And then here is where all the code is stored. So let's go to utilities.ftp. So here is FTP client. Now we can go ahead and look and see um, what he has created for us to use. So we've got FTP file exists. Now it's a boolean and it returns to check and see if an FTP file exists. And it takes a string argument which is a file name. Now you may be thinking what is all of this typed in right here? This is not um, basic. This is some other language. Well this was written in C sharp. And if you create a class, class library in C-sharp, because C-sharp runs on the .NET framework, you can also use that class library with Visual Basic programs. And the same is true the other way around. So if you create a class library in Visual Basic, I believe you can go use it um, with C-sharp. So um, this has a whole bunch of stuff in it. Um, it just checks to see if the FTP file exists. And if it does, uh, it's going to return true. Um, and if it doesn't, it'll return false. Um, we can rename FTP files, we can delete directories, we can do a whole bunch of stuff that Howard Richards has added for us, which makes it very easy to um, work with the file transfer protocol. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. So now what we need to do is we need to come into our FTP Downloader YouTube project. We need to come up here and we need to add a reference. So we need to go to project add reference and let's just browse so we've got FTP downloader YouTube right here and if you just click this button right here up one level you can see we have FTP client vb.dll and you can see that this accepts .dll files so we select FTP client vb.dll go ahead and click OK and you can see that it adds a reference uh, in our project. Now nothing really changed so what we can do is come up here and click show all files and we can go up to references and you can see that we have FTP client VB um, under our references which is a class library. Now let's just go ahead and get rid of show all files. So in this tutorial I walked you guys through um, decompiling our class library with IL spy so we can see a little bit about what it does and how it helps us use file transfer protocol um, and then we added a reference to that class library so in the next tutorial we're going to start using that class library 
to do stuff like update our server, open folders, and other stuff that we have already added on our GUI. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next tutorial.